Hi guys, this is Z Carbon HD, and um, I'm going to start up a new series of videos which are just uh, Photoshop tutorials. Um, so the first one I'm going to start off with is how to well how to get the template for a YouTube background. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your channel, click on themes and colors, click on the clean one in the top right, uh, show advanced options. And set the wrapper color to something bright, so something from the second row. I'll just choose red. Uh, and then save changes. And then I'll put some links in the description below for something called screen grab. And basically is what it does is it takes a screenshot of, um, like, you can take a screenshot of a whole page rather than just what you can see on your screen. Uh, on Mozilla Firefox, it'll be down here in the right hand corner. I'm going to go copy, complete page or frame. And then go into Photoshop. Uh, go file, new. Make it about 2000 by, say, 2300. You can make it whatever you want, like to your preferences, but that's what I recommend just to start off with. Uh, make sure your resolution is 82, your color mode is RGB, and it's on 8-bit, and change the background contents to white. Okay, um, unlock this layer, double click on the padlock, okay, make a new layer, uh, and then paste your screenshot, and then press Control 1 to zoom right in, well, to go to actual pixels. Press uh, V and nudge it up until you just about get rid of that um, that like blue bar at the top. Um, and then you want to create another new layer. Go to your rectangle tool. Make sure it's on rectangle, not rounded rectangle. Um, well, unless you want rounded rectangle. Uh, change the color to black. Um, and then put the little little points just inside the boxes. I'm going to do this quite quick so it won't be exact. Uh, you want to make a new layer for each uh, box you do. Because then if you want to delete it or when you want to edit it, you can do it separately rather than having to make the whole thing the same. As you can see, that's like... That one I just done was a bit wide and uh, not long enough, but I'm just doing it to save time. For your, for these right hand boxes, um, instead of doing separate boxes like one for your sub box, one for your subscribers, and one for your channel comments, um, it's better to just do one large box. So then if anything changes, which you most probably will, you um, don't have to worry about changing but changing your background. And also make sure you drag the shape off of the off of the canvas. It just means that when you come to um, add uh, add effects on it, some effects you'll see like the bottom of them. Like uh, if you added a bevel and emboss, and you made that box just touch the bottom. You'd see where it starts to curve off. It wouldn't really matter that much, but I just just better to do it. Uh, you want to gonna rasterize each layer. And then um, you'll see if you press control and zero. Well, that's weird. No, yeah, um, press control and zero and you'll see when you press the eye to hide it, you see that you have your boxes. Um, I think it's probably better to leave that layer there rather than deleting it. It just means that when it comes to adding things onto your background, you, you can see if it will overlay any writing, if that's what you're trying to do. Um, 
yeah there is your basic background add pictures writing whatever when you finish doing all of that if you go to the very top and create a new layer then go to your brush tool and then make your um your brush the same color as your background uh and then go to the bottom and just fade it out just means that when you put your background on your channel if your channel is actually longer than your background um it'll be a nice faded like it'll just fade into your background color rather than being cut straight off um in the in the description below i'll leave a template for this background you can see that the top box is just um i don't know what kind of shape that is but yeah it's just one box around the video this template which you can download if you want but i recommend either the simple youtube template or the best well my best youtube template this is just it has a has a shape behind all the other boxes um which you can change the color of and also this video box is just one big box um thanks for watching guys if this video helped you uh please subscribe comment and rate thanks guys